Well, howdy. I'm Mark DeGrazia. I'm the manager here at the Ridgecrest Regional Wild Horse and Brew Facility here in Ridgecrest, California. So, he's not a real old horse, but he's getting up there. He uh, works in this corral just about every day. He's worked in the East also. He's been to adoptions, working horses all the way back to um, Rutland, Vermont, and in New Hampshire. He was captured in Nevada about 14 years ago. This, of course, is uh, the Ridgecrest Regional Wild Horse and Burrow Facility, and we get horses in from Nevada, from California, of course, sometimes Arizona. Just as soon as they come in off the range, we vaccinate them, we blood test them, we deworm them, and uh, we freeze brand each and every one of them, like you saw on the other side of them. And in the first 12 years that I was here, uh, we gathered about 30,000 head of wild burrows from uh, places like the Panamint Valley, the Saline Valley, and also worked uh, with the Park Service and gathered uh, quite a number of burrows from Death Valley. Uh, burrows are a very small commodity these days, and a lot of people want burrows. So uh, some burrows get shipped all the way back east, and uh, uh, we have Internet adoptions uh, also we provide animals uh, for the internet adoptions, and, and some of these animals go on the internet. There we go. And we got some, they call that the desert canary, the burrow's bray. You know, uh, since the adoption program started, heck, We've adopted probably over 220,000 wild horses and burros, and that's kind of a, uh, a great accomplishment because we've found homes for these animals all over the United States. Our facility here is almost 70 acres, uh, and it houses about 1,000 head animals here. Um, we have about, um, oh, just about 900 head in the facility right now. We feed right now about 10 ton of hay a day and to make sure each animal gets uh, what they need. These are two to four year old mares. We put each of the, the uh, age categories, we try to separate them as much as possible. Uh, with the yearlings and and then the older sale horses, they're all separated in the facility. This particular bunch of horses are available for adoption. Uh, they're the two, the four-year-olds, and uh, out of here we uh, get a lot of what we call incentive horses. And so these are the wild horses that we have here at the Ridgecrest facility, and. You know, adopting one of these horses is kind of like having a piece of the West for your very own.